Hello guys, really quick one today, just talking about ULEZ, which is the ultra low emission zones. What they mean to you and how to understand it better. Keep watching. Okay guys, so ULEZ is the ultra low emission zone. And it's something that's come into a number of cities, including London, uh, to try and control the number of dirty vehicles, if you like, going into city centres and obviously reduce the carbon footprint of those cities. What this means to you is if you don't have a ULES compliant vehicle to drive within those zones, you have to pay. Uh, in London it's £12.50 every day on top of the normal congestion charge. So if you've got a non ULES uh, compatible vehicle at the moment, you're looking at about £27.50 a day just to drive in London or the central zone of London. So you need to really think about this when you look at your next car, if you live in one of these zones. Even if you don't currently live in an ULEZ zone, we have to caveat it with the word yet, because the government are looking to roll this out further. So you don't want to buy yourself a car now that you have to sell in three months and nobody in your local area wants one because it's not ULEZ compliant. So which cars are affected? Basically, they have to be cars that have passed the Euro 6 test. So that means most diesels after 2015 are, are fine. The, most diesels prior to 2015 won't be compliant. And then most petrols after 2005 are going to be absolutely fine. And some petrols between, between 2001 and 2005 are going to be fine. There are various websites where you can go on, put in your car registration, and it will tell you if your car is compliant. I'm not going to list them because there, there will be different ones for different cities, I guess. And I'm guessing this is going to be an ever-changing, ever-evolving situation. So I would say just Google uh, ULEZ Compliance Checker or something like that, and you will get a list of websites to come up. TfL have got one for London, obviously, but there are a million third-party sites out there as well that will all run the same checks for you. But just something to be very, very aware of. And also be aware that the value of your ULEZ car and the potential market to sell it to, one you've currently got, a, a car that you currently have, is going to be dwindling because more and more people are looking into this now as a, as a real factor in their buying decision. In fact, on Auto Trader now, if you search on Auto Trader, you can tick a box for ULEZ compliant or not, and a lot of people will be ticking that box. So, yeah, that's it, really, guys. Just a really, really quick one just to give you a bit of info which hopefully helps one or two of you out when it comes to your next car buying decision. Thanks.